Your Grace, um, <laughs> I cannot end this interview without uh, going musical. I know you used to play guitar back then. <laughs> and I know you love reggae. <laughs> Please give me an acapella, Your Grace. Um, I, my, I, I, I'm sure I'm getting a bit boring like an old uh, record playing. <laughs> and that is, one of the reggae people I've always respected it was, you know, what, who, who, the one I call, in inverted commas, the high priest of reggae, mm -hmm. you know, Robert Nestor Marley. Yes, indeed. You know. And I came to love him very much, also because my father, who was not very much a fan of, you know, pop music, when he listened to Redemption Song and a few other clips of Bob Marley, he said, this man is a prophet. I remember my father saying it. Mm. And so I took time to listen to that particular song, which I've sang it in about two or three places. I even sang it in Jamaica, in Kingston. That they were it. bawled over. They couldn't believe that an archbishop... Which of the, give me a line, <laughs> Your Grace. <laughs> World pirate called the rabbi, sold I to the merchant ships. Uh -huh. Minutes after they took I from the bottomless pit. Yes. But my hand was made strong by the power of the Almighty. We forward in this generation, generation. triumphantly. Won't you help to sing this song of freedom? Oh my God, this is for Good Friday. <laughs> it's Your all grace. I ever had. Oh, yes. Redemption song. But there's a part that I love very much. Emancipate yourselves from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our minds. Whoa. Have no fear for atomic energy cause none, none of them can stop, stop the fight. fight. Oh, yes. How long shall they kill our prophets while we stand aside and look? Ooh. Some, Some say it's, it's just a part of it. We've, We've got, got to, to fulfill, fulfill the book. The book. Won't you hail to sing? Oh. Redemption song. So Jesus came to fulfill the book, the book. The redemption of humanity. We shouldn't only sing redemption song. We should live in redemption. Joyful in the Easter. And we should follow his selflessness. And his self-sacrificing love. I think this is where Bob Marley meets Jesus Christ. In his prophecy. With your permission, a fist bump. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and that was the Metropolitan Archbishop of Accra, the most reverend Charles Gabriel Palmer Buckle. You've been watching Hard Talk 101. Stay with us.